Ben and Armin is the master distributor for Diamond Brand Portable Electric Grade 60 rebar cutters and benders in the U.S., Canada, and Latin America. In 1981, Ben and Armin introduced first portable rebar cutters and benders made in Japan to the U.S. construction industry. Today we offer portable cutters up to number 10 grade 60 and rebar benders up to number 9 grade 60. New combination rebar cutters and bender units, in place rebar benders, rebar workstations, and highway trailer units are available to save time and make you money. Our portable rebar cutters and benders are the fastest, safest, and most economical way to cut rebar at the job site. Before using these tools, please read the safety precautions located in the handling instructions. A copy is included in the packaging of your rebar cutter or bender. Cutting rebar, there is always a chance that the cut end may shoot out, especially if less than one foot in length. Place the rebar cutter on a piece of wood or a flat dry surface. Always make sure your airbag hole is clear of dirt and debris. Before using, always check that the two bolts on each cutter block are properly tightened. When cutting, insert the rebar between the stopper and front cutter block, making sure that it is properly seated in the U-shaped support. Pull trigger switch and keep depressed while piston advances and rebar is cut. After each cut with the tool, Clear away any excess rebar before the next use. Using a loose block will result in damage to the block and housing. Check condition of cutter blocks. If either cutter edge is dull or chipped, remove retaining bolts and rotate both blocks so that two new edges come into use. Replace and tighten bolts. When all four cutting edges have been used, or if either block is cracked or otherwise damaged, replace both blocks. The pressure relief valve is used to bring the piston back to the starting position by relieving the hydraulic pressure in the tool. An Allen wrench is included in the packaging of the tool. This feature is useful if there is a piece of rebar that is blocking the piston and not allowing for full extension. The trigger lock is useful when using your rebar cutter as a hands-free unit with a better nomin foot pedal. The stopper bolt is probably the most important part of your portable rebar cutter. The adjustable stopper functions to maintain the rebar in the correct position during cutting and must be properly set for each size of rebar before use. Screw out the stopper until it is just touching the rebar. Once set, the stopper needs no further adjustment while cutting rebar of the same diameter, but must be reset for a different size rebar. The hydraulic oil should be changed at least once a year, sooner if it appears dirty. Remove oil plug, turn cutter over and drain oil into a suitable receptacle. Slowly fill the unit with fresh oil, replace the plug, and lightly tighten. Follow the procedures for oil level check. 